Uh, hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? It's a beautiful day, and I mean it's a beautiful day. Uh, oof, sweating. <laughs> Uh, the sun's really beautiful today. Uh, I went to a place called Marbella on the Golden Mile to a place called Organic Cafe this morning and bumped into a few beautiful souls. Uh, it was nice to see people that I haven't seen for a while and uh, it's nice to be told that you're looking younger every day. <laughs> Gave them 50 quid. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, guys, um, let's crack on today. This is going to be a little workshop. Uh, I'm going to help you try and uh, make your own natural oils. Some people won't want to, but uh, many of you over the years um, have been asking me about how I worked with oils, uh, what they do, and how did you start. So I thought I'll go through the process with you and we'll do a little workshop on oils. First of all, you've got to understand that all natural oils from plant extracts um, date back thousands of years um, and probably longer, but we won't go there. But if you, if you search back through history, you can see the kings of uh, Egypt and the queens of Egypt, the royalty, they all used to have certain um, products that they used as a carrier or a base, a carrier, to um, put natural oil into. And um, for instance, the um, the Egyptians, um, you may have seen on some of their, their heads, they used to wear something quite big. It's almost like a cone. And what they'd do is they'd fill that up with um, different kinds of either fat or they would use um, honey uh, honey cones, you know, the wax honey cones, and they would mix that with natural um, oils, you know, beautiful oils, uh, for instance, myrrh. And what would happen is when it got hot, the heat got hotter and hotter, it would melt and it would actually pour down them. And because myrrh was a, an amazing, um, amazing natural oil not only to protect the skin but for many other reasons keep you young uh, keep your sk uh, skin young and lot i mean when we start going into detail with oil it, it's it's a, a huge huge uh, topic and subject so i'm not gonna delve into the properties too much but i'm gonna explain to you why i got into uh, come a little bit closer <laughs> why i got into um oils so uh, a long time ago i'd met this uh, wiccan high priestess who in her home showed me uh like some oil well she didn't show me i was curious i said what's it? what's in that jar and Basically, she said, well, Mark, it's uh, a mixture of different oils from all over the world. Um, and there's flowers in there because I like to pick flowers because I'm a Wiccan and Wiccans like nature. And I put my love into it and my energy healing into it. I said, wow, that's that's amazing. So I went to smell it. Didn't really smell of anything because most of it was uh, like sunflower oil. That's what she used in this one. Um, but she did mix other things in there, but I found that fascinating. And I got in, I got this urge or this feeling to say, can I have a little bit? And she said, sure. So she gave me a little bottle. From that bottle, I put it into a, a little jar about this size, uh, like a cup size. And I thought, I'd like to add to this and start to develop this in my own way. So the way I started developing is I would go to many um, natural fairs or health shops and I'd like to have a look at natural products which have, um, you know, natural leaf products or root products or anything that I felt was healing that I could use in my oils. And I would first of all smell and hold it and just a tune, is this going to work for this oil? And most of the time I'd say no, for some, some strange reason, it never felt right. And then and on other occasions I'd go, this is what I need to put in. And I'd know instantly. So I'd just put it into my little tiny jar. And through the months, I'd add to it with base oils. I'd tried Jehovah, I've tried um, so many different base oils to mix and mix 
Um, anyway, I got to the stage where I kind of felt like the leaves were lovely and I was collecting flowers and, and putting them in there and, and it was beautiful, but something just didn't feel quite right, but I didn't know what. And of course, uh, after a while, I was introduced to crystals. Um, and that's when it all made sense, it all came together. So then I went on a mission to find the right crystals to go in my jar. It wasn't really that I was working with crystals to begin with. I didn't really know the power of working with crystals with people. I didn't know the power of a crystal. I thought the crystal would be lovely in the jar. And I took the flowers out and I was working with the oils at the same time and um, rubbing them on my hair, rubbing them here and breathing them in and, and doing my meditation. And I found myself thinking, these oils are, are really good. This oil is getting better and better. And from there, uh, I was introduced to more uh, plant extracts and um, I was going for many different types, which they were coming into my life now, loads of them. And, uh, and I kept adding, you know, like hundreds and this jar <laughs> from here became like this big, became this big. And, you know, I found out about grapeseed oil. Oh, I'm going to try grapeseed oil. Then I found about almond oil and tried that. I tried different oils and working with it. But the same jar was what I felt. It was perfect. It's what I needed. It was my healing oil. And I used this oil for many different things, but I called it my healing oil. And as I was doing my healing work with my clients, they used to say, oh, Mark, that oil is beautiful. And I used to say, here, and I'd, uh, I'll, I'll even show you if I've got it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to go, yeah, no problem. Let me give you some. <laughs> so I'd, uh, I'd get a little bottle and squirt some in there and go like that and say, please take this with you. Use it sparingly when you do your meditation or when you feel the, uh, a beautiful energy running through you or if you feel a bit down, rub some on. And I used to teach them how to breathe and relax and uh, people then used to be saying, Mark, is it okay if I pop up for one of your little bottles? How much are they? I said, no, 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 it's okay. They're my gift, my gift, my gift, my gift for many years. Now this interesting jar took on a new form. And one day I thought, this is a beautiful jar of healing oil. But what about, for some reason, this is, this is what happens. You start to speak and you start to hear, uh, you channel, you feel. I visioned another jar. And this other jar came to me instantly. And this jar was about cleansing. This would be uh, an oil that would clear the most heaviest negativity of people who are depressed, who have tried to take their life, people who have got a broken heart, somebody who's just lost their family members. So then I thought, this is the stuff. People were coming to me who were healers, who were psychics, who were mediums, who were yoga instructors, who just worked with the general public. And I knew that this oil would help them. And I used to say, now take this oil, rub it on your back, lower back, rub it all there, rub it at your temples, breathe it in, rub it here and there, and this will clear any negative energy away. It's called negative energy cleansing oil. So thus I took half of that oil from my healing oil and then I got two jars now. <laughs> so now I'm starting to add the right crystals into this jar, which was all the, the crystals that I were working with on my client. And so I thought, wow, this client is filled with, you know, sadness, negative energy. She's been attacked by a, a, an ex-partner or a mother-in-law. And because I've worked on that client and this crystal was on them, the healing that was coming through was pouring into the client to heal them. Now this crystal has the same energy. So I knew that I could then just go bloop, put it into that water because I knew that crystal held the memory to go into the jar of negative energy cleansing. So it was brilliant. And I was doing this over the months and months and years. And then another year went past and all of a sudden, a year came where I felt again, this sudden feeling, my God, I want to make a jar which is filled with people with positivity, with, with love, with, with all the abundance that comes into their life. And thus I took from both jars poured into this jar and then started to create my abundance oil. 
And thus, from these jars came to these jars. <laughs> Can you see? So these jars of oil are um, 15 years old, but they're actually older than that because my first mentor worked with the jar that she had for over 50 years. She always kept this jar with her and always added to. And like me, I always add to all the time and work with them, not on a daily basis. I used to for many years, but now I'll put my hands on them for one hour every now and again to just keep the energy going. But I realize that this room, when I'm working in that energy, is going straight into there. That's why the energy in this room is so powerful. So the oils that you see behind you now is this one here is my healing oil. And if you look very carefully, you can see in the healing oil, there is many green crystals, the color green. And also the crystals that I felt were, were really beautiful for healing people on a physical level, on an emotional level. So green to me is the energy of peace. Green is nature. Green is grass. Green is just balance and love and healing. So in that, the healing oil is something that is great for physical and emotional healing. The next jar, what you see there, is the very, very powerful jar of cleansing. Now, you can see carefully, there's lots of um, very dark crystals in there. Tactites, uh, black tourmaline, and the list goes on. But all amazing crystals to help you cleanse and clear your negative energy. And it works. It works. They both work amazing. And there you can see this oil here, this one here. This is filled with pink colors, white colors, um, gold, tiger's eye, pyrite, many different colors in there. And that is the abundance oil. Predominantly, my oils change from month to month because if I'm out and I'm in a show and I all of a sudden bump into an alchemist and somebody who's worked with a special oil, because at the moment I'm hoping to meet a very special man. Um, and this man, um, uh, through a dear friend of mine, tells me that his life is about traveling, finding the most amazing oils. And one of the oils that he's just managed to get is from a, a very special place in Africa where the healing, the African healers go into a cave and they take a certain bush and this tree, this, this beautiful divine tree is then put into the cave and they steam the, the cave with the heat and they beat it and then all of a sudden the sap or the, the whatever comes off it attaches to the rocks and they, they scrape it gently off and then they make this amazing oil. And as soon as I got wind of that, as soon as I, I, wow, and that's how I work with oils. I search for the best oils. And when you bring oils together from different uh, parts of the world and you mix them and you work with them and you put your love into them and you put crystals into them, let me tell you, they are amazing. So at the moment, what you're looking at is predominantly in this jar, my, my last lot of oils were a mixture of oils from uh, Africa, oils from, um, I think, a certain part of uh, Australia, uh, a little bit of Ylang Ylang, which I really love. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it brings a lot of love into me when I, I smell Lang Ylang. It's like, whoa. So, you know, out of the hundreds and hundreds of oils, um, you will smell probably now Ylang Ylang in there. This one, uh, the, the cleansing oil, there is no doubt you will smell the most amazing Paolo Santo. And the reason why is it took me a while, but I had to search for somebody who could actually press Paolo Santo and get the natural 100% Paolo Santo into oil. And that's in here. So you can imagine not only how expensive, but how powerful that is. And the third one here 
there's a mixture of salvia, sage, um, and uh, frankincense. Um, and at the moment, I think we have a, uh, quite a bit of lavender in there because it's a very powerful um, oil as well. So you'll probably smell uh, quite a wonderful smell of lavender mixed with many other smells. This one, Paolo Santo, mixed with many other smells and Ilang 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 mixed with many other smells. So not only are these oils many years old, but they are always constantly being added to all the time. And they work amazing. If, you, if you've ever tried my oils, you'll know they work and my testimonials are there to prove. Um, I get messages every day, repeat business with, um, the oils are probably about 60 to 70% now, but many people keep buying all the time. People talk about it. They go to all walks of life. They hit probably 40 countries all the time. So they are beautiful oils. And I am also working on um, these two, which are new oils, okay? Um, and one is going to be a Moldavite. It's filled with Moldavite. So it's gonna be purpose Moldavite oil. So uh, yeah, I mean, and, and the other one is a sacred oil. That's a secret at the moment. Can't really talk about that, but you will, you are gonna be blown away. I think um, on a daily basis, I use my oils maybe once a day, um, sometimes twice. I use the oil uh, sparingly because it's so powerful and potent that you only need a few drops and them few drops will last you all day. It penetrates within and some people say, no, no, it doesn't, it doesn't penetrate because if that was the case, then if you swam, you would drown, your skin would drown. Well, if you rub, um, say, mint, pull your mint at the bottom of your feet, okay? Within a few minutes, you'll taste it in your mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So try it, don't get it on your hands, ask somebody to rub it in your feet, okay? And then tell me. So many different beautiful oils that you would use do penetrate within. And I think science will catch up one day and realize that oils are our secret healing ingredient of the world. I think oils are vastly underrated and I think oils are becoming more and more powerful and they're healing more and more people day by day. So I guess that's it really guys. I really don't know what else to say about my oils other than I love them, I, I cherish them. Um, anybody who comes here to learn at the Pure Energy Healing Academy, uh, always take some of this away and then start to create their own oil. So I guess what I'm trying to say to you guys, if some of you just don't wanna do that, that's fine. But if some of you, some of you wanna learn a little bit, I would suggest what I've shared with you today is to get yourself a little tiny uh, jar and um, start by um, your oil somewhere, buy an oil, and then start to add your crystals or some flowers and different base oils and just keep and, and trust, smell. That's perfect, this is what I want. If, if you buy two or three and you, no, that's not right, put it away. Don't ruin your oil by putting it in just for the sake of putting it in. Keep it to the high level vibration. So you, whatever you put in there, it feels good. By doing that, you're also adding your intention and your energy and your healing power to it. Keep doing that and every now and again, put your hands around your jar, close your eyes and meditate when you're in a good place. Put good energy into it. See yourself feeling happy and strong and powerful. And then you can share that oil with your friends your healing oil or your abundance oil or your cleansing oil. However you feel, your intention is really important. So make your intention of what oil you want that to be. So it could be an oil which is completely different. You could say, you know what, Mark, I like your idea, but I was thinking I could really do with a meditation oil or I could do an, or with an oil that helps me sleep or I could do with an oil that helps me clear heartbreak. Exactly, well, use that intention 
and start off by going to a, a reputable shop that sells oils and then say, can I start to smell some of your oils? Smell them to begin with and say, okay, this one, feel, this one smells right. Uh, it sounds right. I read about it. It sounds right. And then you would start your oil. Get yourself the base oil, a nice base oil. If you have a nut allergy, keep away from almond. Get um, aloe vera. There's lots of different oils you can get, but get yourself like a nice base oil, okay? And then start adding your, your beautiful uh, little bottles. Yes, they're expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And then start to add some crystals, which feel right. And I tell you guys, if there's something that, you know, makes you happy in life, you know, some people collect toys, dinky toys. Some people collect dolls. Some people collect stamps. Why don't you start your own oil and start collecting crystals from shops and and start going into other shops, health shops and, and collecting some oils and mixing them and making your own healing jar? Why do you do that? It's a beautiful process and it gives you something to do and you start to then get into that energy of uplifting, feeling great. And then you can tell people, I've created my own oil and let them try it. And hey ho, in 10 years time from now, you might be a multimillionaire because your oil's the best selling oil in the world. <laughs> Who knows? So give it a go, guys. It's something to think about. Um, and you can always look on this channel on mattbyeski.com under the search bar and type um, healing oils. And there's a lot of videos there that I've done of how to work with my oils and how to work with your oils if you make them. So that's it today, guys. I hope this serves you well. It's a beautiful Saturday. I, I wanted to come and say hello to you all. Thank you so much for subscribing to mattbyeski.com. <laughs> 100,000, we're nearly 100,000. <laughs> It's incredible. Uh, yeah, well done, guys. We're growing and growing as a beautiful family. Keep going. Have a great day, guys. Um, this was gifted to me by somebody a, a long while ago. It's very, very beautiful. I think it's a lapis, but um, I want to gift this away today to somebody, so I will. So um, it's very beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll... I'll just scroll down uh, in a day or two and see who I want to gift it to and then I'll send you a message. Love you all. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye. Oh, thanks for subscribing. <laughs>